In this ChatGPT tutorial, I'm going to explain to you guys what is Generation ID, which we call Gent ID, and how you can use it when you are creating images using ChatGPT4 in your ChatGPT+. So let's dive into it. All right, here's the use case scenario for Gent ID in ChatGPT. So whenever you're trying to create any images using ChatGPT4, so right now I'm just going to um, ask ChatGPT to create an image of a cute little Chinese boy who likes panda so much. So after that, this is, and also I asked ChatGPT to list down the Gent ID for me. So let's see what is going to happen. So ChatGPT returned with me an image of what I, what it thinks that I want. And also, it gave me the generation ID of the image is called this ID. So basically, this ID is just like the token that is being associated with these images. So if you do not know about a Gent ID, usually ChatGPT will not list down this Gent ID for you. And the use case is this. So imagine that you are trying to create a um, character for representing your brand or representing your business. So, or maybe you just want to draw some cartoons, uh, according to uh, like a cartoon or comic books, according to what you want to plan, right? So here's the thing: um, you will want to make sure that the cartoon that you are drawing or the images that you are drawing is using the same character images. Okay, so that's why I just um, do something else so that I'm just going to dem demonstrate to you guys how I use this Gen ID. So right now, I'm just want I, I don't like this image. I just want it to be more cut. Uh, cartoon style so that's where ChatGPT returned this for me and also because I requested for the Gen ID this is Gen ID okay so right now I really love these images it's so sweet and so cute created by ChatGPT and I want to create a series of these images maybe perhaps this kit with this Gen ID that has been associated with it uh, playing at the beach right picnic and so uh, this is the first Gen ID associated with this, with a black hair. And I want to have a second version for the Caucasian boy list gen ID as well. So that's why ChatGPT will return with me with another character, with another gen ID. So here's the thing. I really love this character more and I want ChatGPT to help me to create more images using this gen ID. Be sure that this gen ID right now I am using it is ending with QQ. So, Further create four images that this boy is playing at a beach, like a college, four picture in one, playing with the panda, and use the gen ID character. Make sure that it is the, with the QQ, which is this gen ID, right? Not this earlier gen ID, which is NEM 3H. So let's see if ChatGPT understands my instruction. So ending with QQ, it should look like this. And in return with this, I still feel it's weird because it doesn't look like the character that I want. So here's my reply to ChatGPT. I said that, you, can you see the eyes are different? The eyes should be brown. It looks really different. This is what I told ChatGPT. And I told ChatGPT that I still prefer the Gen ID ending with QQ. And ChatGPT, ChatGPT asked me to use Photoshop to try it myself constantly. But I said like, can you retry on this at least? And finally, with this retry, it returned with me with this brown color eye. So I think it is more looks more similar to the Gen ID that I wanted in the one ending with QQ. Let's check ending with QQ. So it looks a little bit more similar, at least not like a blue eye. This is what um, ChatGPT can do after you tell them with the Gen ID that you want. All right. So and then right now the Gen ID for this college is called this. Okay. And I feel like it looks good. So now. I also want to test ChatGPT if they understand my instructions. So remember just now we created a character with a black hair ending with 3H. So now we are asking ChatGPT to create the same using the Gen ID with 3H. So let's check the 3H images. This is what it looks like. Black hair, black eye. It returned me with a little bit black hair but brown eye. So you can also request the same, you want to have like a black eye and ask ChatGPT to retry again. So basically the use case of Gen's ID is to help, it's kind of like a quote attached to the image that you are creating and tell ChatGPT to create 
using the similar environment and similar character for you. And that is especially useful if you are creating a series of different uh, images, but you want to feature it to the same character and you want to have the same style. Um, that is very useful for you guys. So I hope that you guys learned something new related to this Gent ID uh, for this chat when, when it comes to creating images. I also just newly learned it and I find that it's really interesting where you can create like images and a bunch of stuff just by using all this. Okay, so and also just now I, I keep on playing it and asking for the 3H and this is what I got and it's really nice and I hope that you guys loving this chat GPT um, tutorial and sharing and you've been loving my series of chat GPT tutorial and sharing feel free to give me a comment down below and hit me like hit the like button so that YouTube is going to suggest this video to even more people and you are going to motivate me to teach you guys more about ChatGPT when you hit that button. And also, if you've been learning, want to learn like ChatGPT and you want to know my super efficient method in using ChatGPT to come up with a lot of different contents for my content creation ideas as well as for my YouTube channel, feel free to join my free course at junlo.net slash ChatGPT and junlo.net slash ChatGPT. It is totally free. You can suggest to your friends as well and I look forward to see you guys in the next video then. Take care. Bye.